Hello and welcome to my new update video for CWI version 1.2 and this as you maybe know this is an add-on for Blender that can be booked in my Gumroad shop or on Blender market. Um, today I will show you the new features of version 1.2 today and yeah let's start. I have added some new elements. Uh, the first one are sclera clouds. This are here this part. The sclera, uh, if you know how an eye, how an eye anatomy is built, you, this is the, uh, it's the part here, the white one. And this sclera uh, has uh, um, a new element here, a color, a variation to to make some more colors in the sclera. I have. Uh, uh, observed that an uh, eye or a sclera has some uh, uh, color temperature and I thought it would be very nice to have it in my shader too. So here when I change for example to blue so we can see the clouds that I have uh, there are new um, and these clouds can be now changed. So first I make the clouds blur to sharpen. Here you can make them blurry or sharp if you want. Um, it's a new routine that I've added and uh, I use it on, on an, another part on another here in the iris border too. So you can uh, change the blur for those clouds and you can change the scale if you want. The higher the value the more clouds can be seen. For example if you like this and then you have the cloud variant and there you can change the variance here uh, in the eye. So if you change the position so you see you have a lot of different uh, variations to you to be used here in your eye. So I make it a little bit blurry again. If this blur I, you can set it to one this is a maximum here in the default but if you think it's not enough, you can click here in and you can say you make it to two and the blur will be blurrier. If two is not enough, you can set to three and so on. And you can set here the your own value, for example, if the blur is not enough. Okay, I make it back to two, for example, and change the color. Um, if you don't want to see this uh, sclera clouds here, you can set the color um, and direct the main color of your sclera to the clouds and the clouds disappear. So for example, or you choose a very warm and nice element here to, to give the, the sclera uh, some variations. What is that is really nice as, as you ask me, if you ask me here. Great, so this is uh, one of the main new features. Um, another new feature is the blur here, the border of your iris. In the first version, I was not very pleased with the blur effect, so I've um, developed a new blur effect for the iris border. And if you change, for example, the this value to now, so you can set it to one, and the iris border is now very sharp, or you can reduce it down, and the iris border is very smoothy. So, for example, if you want to have a smooth iris, you can change it now here. The second nice effect of this new blur is it creates a little bit of a kind of noise. And this noise can be seen in real eyes too. So if you have some, you, you can see some structure here. And I think it looks much more real than the version before. Of course, you can change the size again as always and can uh, make your own iris elements. The uh, next uh, change in this version is about baking. Uh, in my first version in 1.0 or 1.1 you needed a special diffuse node to bake your uh, bump map of the eye. As you know you can uh, bake the bump map information into a regular texture for example and uh, before you used, uh, you needed a special diffuse node. Now you don't need to do this. You just go to the bake bump map output slot and plug it into the surface here of your material output. Then the eye changes to a black and white to a grayscale element, and you can bake it into a new object that has a texture, for example. 
If you don't know how to bake textures, I have prepared a small tutorial. You can watch it on my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, there I explain how to bake textures in Blender into a regular texture and save it to a file, for example. So you can use your own I objects and uh, if you have UV information, you can make it into this new object. So back to my bump map. The next new element is uh, the complete iris patterns here. This elements can now be baked too. In the version before, the previous version, you had only the possibility to bake the shape of the iris. So you had here only a, a white circle and the circle represented the size of your iris. And today with the new version, you are able to bake the complete iris if you want. If you don't want to bake the iris, you can set the iris size to zero and the iris disappear, for example. And the same with the veins. If you don't want to bake the veins, you can set the bump strength of your veins to zero and the veins disappear and uh, you just bake the iris. Of course, the pupil size can be changed and you see it change in the bump map information too. Um, yeah, come, I come now to, the, to a new feature, uh, to a second new feature um, that is uh, completely new. Now I have added bump maps effects to the iris here. The iris is uh, built of different uh, parts. Uh, the real iris and the real eye and there is a one part that is called cornea and the cornea is um, yeah, the part here outside where the reflection can be seen it's a little bit uh, uh, yeah uh, bumped or, or uh, bulbed I don't know how to call it in English I hope you know what I mean however you can it's the part here and I've added a cornea bump into this. So when you increase the bump, I do it to one. Now you see a bump map of your patterns. There is a small bump map. I, re I rotate a bit and you can see here is a bump map. And what I do too, I simulate the reflection of the outer part of your eye. As you know, my eye has no parts. It's just a a uh, uh, sphere, the regular sphere. There is no uh, model inside or something like this. So I just, <clears throat> I just simulating a real eye. So I am simulating to the outer part of the eye, which is clean. So the clean part uh, has the clean reflection. And as you see, if you change the bump, only the inner part bump will be changed. This is very interesting maybe for the technical interested people. If you don't like the bump or you don't have any use for it, um, yeah, you can reduce it down to zero. And of course, all the bump information can be baked to a normal map too. As you know, you can bake mine, uh, a normal map if you want. Uh, you just plug the normal map output here into the displacement. Then we can see a lot of structure, like the veins, for example. And all of this can be now baked into the normal map if you want to. Yeah, these are the changes uh, for today for version 1.2. I hope you like the new version. And uh, you must know every uh, client, every buyer, every customer who have uh, booked my add-on will get all the updates for free, of course. This one is for free too. So if you like, you will be informed and you can download this uh, version if you already bought it, bought it. And if you are interested and in buy my add-on for Blender, it would, this would be very nice. And uh, you support my upcoming uh, new projects uh, that I will do in the future with uh, with a buy of the uh, with a purchase of the, of the I, I hope you know what I mean. I come from Germany, so my English is not very perfect. However, this is the version 1.2, and thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.